And we're here now with Coach Paul Allen Duke, head coach of the Mississippi College women's basketball team. Coach Duke, thanks so much for taking time uh, to join us. So let's talk about your uh, basketball team uh, coming up this season. You've got a lot of returning players. Uh, I was looking at the, the stat sheet from last year, the final stats, five players. Uh, coming back who are your, uh, four of your five leading scorers coming back and all but one of them started every game last year. So you've got some experience coming back this season. Well, as you know, Reed, uh, that's always a great formula for success anytime you have a lot of players coming back. And uh, we started off with 28 players when school started and we're down to 16 right now. So we're real excited about that. Our experience should make us very competitive in this league, and you know how tough this league is. So the girls have been working out, we've been training them. They've had a great attitude. Our experience has shown on the floor that the teaching that uh, two of them have had for four years, Randa Lee, our point guard, and Jaleesa Taylor, our power forward, has been great carryover for us. So we're really excited about this team, and we feel like that we will be very, very competitive in this tough uh, American Southwest Conference League. Well, talk about a couple of the players individually that you're really counting on to have big seasons. Uh, the, the two that really makes us go is Jennifer Ware and, and Jaleesa Taylor. Both of them are our forwards, uh, power forward, and, and our center and both of them ended the year really good so uh, they are a handful I, I, I feel like it would not be in our conference they would be probably the two toughest players I know they voted some girls from um, Harden Simmons and the girl from Louisiana College but it's hard for me to imagine anybody matching up with them and then the other player is a sophomore of mine that started last year Elizabeth Brooks uh, we're counting on big things from her uh, she was one of the few freshmen we've had since Lacey Pomerez that came in and started for us. So we're real excited about her. Our point guard position, our quarterback is Randall Lee. She's been here for four years. She led the conference, if I'm not mistaken, in, in assist. She's a great three-point um, percentage shooter, so we're counting on her. Then at our two-guard position, we've got a kind of a, a, a log jam there. We've got three uh, two sophomores and a junior college transfer that's come in. Uh, Tracy Rogers is, is there, uh, Valerie Stewart, and we have a young lady from Northwest Junior College, um, Sabrina uh, McNair, she, she's come in. So that position right now has really not been settled. Uh, they're all three have positive points. The, the two that have been here knows our system because they've been here for a year, so we're, we've got good depth there. Uh, behind our two post girls, we, we've got Caitlin Brown, a girl that's uh, a sophomore, uh, a six foot one young lady that's improved her strength and her fundamentals. She'll be backing up Mercedes, which is Jennifer Ware. That's her nickname. You know, everybody's got a nickname. And then the girl that's impressed everybody this fall is from Jones Junior College. Um, she's come in and, and, and um, has done a great job. Uh, she's been very impressive as a post player. Uh, Bridget uh, Taylor, and, and we're really excited about her. So that gives us more depth. Reed, you know, in basketball, we play so many games. Last year's team, we had five losses in overtime or double overtime. And one of the reasons we had that was that we did not have quality depth. I feel like this year's team has got a lot of depth. And you've got some of those players on the bench who are going to have a chance to shine when they get into the ball game. And I know your your history is if they perform on the floor, you're going to put them out there. Well, you know, I'm an old school kind of guy, and, and, and it's all about performance on the floor. And, and again, we've got this depth, and that's a good thing in basketball because uh, last year we got banged up this season so long, and the travel is tough on us. We had a lot of players banged up, and, and especially at the end of the year, going in the conference tournament, Elizabeth Brooks had the flu. Reagan Dees was a backup point guard. She had the flu. So we had young players that we were trying to develop with our depth. This year, those young players are sophomores, added with some of the other girls that we've recruited. So that will give us a good depth base. And you gotta have eight to 10 players that's not much fall off. And we've got that this year. So I'm real excited about that. And, and again, this conference every year in, in women's basketballs, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the toughest conference in America in Division Three. So we're looking forward to the challenge. Well, something we talk about every year, and that is the, the, the really tough start to the season that uh, people, especially in the Eastern Division, uh, have to go through. And it's no different this year. You're going to have to play some games a long way away against some very good basketball teams even before the new year. So it's really important that your team get off to a pretty good start. Well, it's no question. That's where you're mentally, you got to be focused and you got to be mentally tough because you do get on a bus and travel 12, 15 hours, nine hours, wherever it may be. So your team has got to be very focused and they have got to be mentally tough. You've got to train your girls to do that because this year the championship it, uh, is, is won from the Eastern standpoint. You've got to go to the 
West. And if you're going to win the conference championship, you got to put your position, put yourself in position to win on the road. Uh, if you go back and look at our history, we have a great percentage uh, winning on the road, so that's a tribute to our, girl and our uh, girls in our program. But again, you've got to win on the road. We start conference play in this league, Reed, in during Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So we don't have, uh, you don't have a long time to get your rotation ready. That's the benefit of having an experienced team, uh, I, I think, that um, you're not experimenting as much. Now, we, we did have a, a scrimmage game, a quote unquote, that's what the NCAA calls it, against North, uh, I mean, excuse me, West Alabama. Did extremely well, had three 20 minute periods. We got to look at all 16 players. So I'm really excited about that. This coming Friday, uh, while y'all are traveling, which you'll be playing on Saturday, but Friday we will play an exhibition game against Northwest Louisiana, the Division One school. I try to schedule people, uh, our scrimmages or exhibition, against people a lot better than us. Mm -hmm. That gives me a good chance to look at the girls and, and see where we are. So we're real excited about that. But you all right, again, you know, that you got to get off to a good start and, and, and you got to do it on the road. And like I said, again, to win the conference this year, you got to win it on the road. And it seems like that the Eastern Division over the last several years has gotten better top to bottom. It used to be a little top heavy. That's not really the case anymore. Louisiana College, the prime example last year, it wasn't too long ago. That was a program in, in a little bit of a disarray it, and they really have come on strong. Well, it's a lot of parity, not, you know, we're not on top. If you go back and look at it, we've always been the queen bees of the East, and, and now it's a lot more parity. But I will say this, Ray, uh, a mark of a great program, it's real easy to go from the bottom to the top. Mark of a great program is staying on top all the time. So that that's, that's going to be remain. We're going to see if Louisiana College can do that. Uh, the other comp, Tyler is tough. ETBU's tough. Um, you know, UT Dallas is tough. Ozarks uh, has a new coach. Uh, they're always tough when you go all the way up to the Rocky Mountains to play when it's cold. <laughs> you know, so all those teams that, that, that we have to play, if you don't come ready to play and you're not prepared and be focused on that particular game, it's going to be tough. So we're real excited about the challenge. This league uh, is just a very challenging league, uh, and we're really excited about getting our girls off to a good start like you commented. Well, you talk about sustained excellence. This is your 16th year now, and you had 19 wins last year. It's It's been a, a case of year after year, you're in the hunt every year. That's that's really what you need to ask for at this level of basketball. What's been the, I don't know, a secret, but what has been the secret? Well, I, I think the, uh, there, there's three things that goes along with that. First of all, our college. We have an unbelievable college. It's centrally located, so it's easy to recruit girls here. Second of all, I have a great not good, but a great assistant coaches. Over the period of years, I've had good assistant coaches. Coach Rob Ray Burns is a great, great assistant coach. So that's a good formula when you have a great, she's done an unbelievable job bringing in talent, as you well know, with non-scholarships. And we give, give out money to our, our players, academic money, but to go out and find the talent that she's brought in the last two, three years is unbelievable. So that's the second thing. And I, I think the third thing is uh, is working really hard. We have an unbelievable work ethic. We, we're up in the morning training the girls. When it's legal for us to start training them, we do that. We work really hard. So I think those three things, uh, you know, a great place to recruit to, centrally located. The facilities here at Mississippi College are great. The teachers, uh, including yourself, uh, work with the students so that helps us when we travel great assistant coach and coach burns and then the third thing is the work ethic that we try to instill to those girls so that makes for a good formula for success what has changed over the last 15 years in terms of recruiting players i, I think uh the, the the main main thing that has has changed uh, in my opinion all the players now are looking for a great place to play, whether it's scholarship or non-scholarship. Back 10, 15 years ago, girls wouldn't even look at us um, when we dropped from Division II to Division III. Now, they're looking for a great education. They're looking for a place to go to school that five years after their college career or four years that they know they can get educated. And that's one thing that Mississippi College does an unbelievable job uh, is educating people. They've been doing it for a long time. So I, I think that, and, and the other thing is our facilities are like Division One facilities. Mm -hmm. When people come on this campus, nine out of 10 of them, if we can get them on campus, we do a great job of, 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 of selling them to come here. So that, that, that's another thing that's great about our college is the facilities here. So when you couple all that, uh, we've got a big advantage and it's easy when I say that we work hard at it, but it's really easy to get kids on campus and for them to uh, learn and, and love Mississippi College because of the people and the type of facilities we got. 
Well, you mentioned the exhibition game against Northwestern Louisiana and then a couple of non-conference games before the conference schedule begins. What, is, what, what are you looking out of your uh, looking for out of your ladies in these early games that are not conference games? You win championships by playing defense. That's our emphasis. We've always had a great defensive team, but you win championships by playing defense, and we've got to be better defensively. So uh, th this game coming up on Friday, it's a Division One game, and, and defensively, we've got to set the tone. We play the old pressure man-to-man, -man and, and we've got to pressure people this year and, and, and hold them to low shooting percentages and rebound the ball. If we can do that, you have a chance to uh, win. The other thing is, we should be a high-scoring team this year. We've got great shooters, we've got great post players, so coupled with great defense, this makes for success. So we're looking for a strong effort technique-wise. Uh, our technique is, uh, this, uh, we, we concentrate on technique defensively, and so we want to be a great defensive team. And I think if you couple that with great rebounding and great scoring, it's easy to win ball games. Well, Coach, we wish you good luck. We're looking forward to the season. We thank you for your time today. Thank you so much, Ray. That's Coach Paul Allen Duke, head coach of the Mississippi College women's basketball team.